I'm rejecting baseline testing because it's wrong for our children. In fact, it's not about the children at all. The government's been very clear that the purpose of baseline testing is to judge teachers and to judge schools. This is simply about bringing in more inaccurate measures of judging teachers' so-called performance. That's not what education is about. Education starts with the child and it should end with the child. Children learn by playing. They develop in that way. And I really am passionate about keeping play in reception. The baseline test is nothing to do with our children. It's about providing a level for which I can be judged. There's no way that you can test very small children. Four-year-olds are far too young to be tested. I believe they deserve their childhood and they need to be given the freedom to be able to express themselves through play and learn through play. The early years is about four main things. Play, having fun, starting from where the kid is and positivism. And baseline testing is about none of these. I'm rejecting baseline testing because we're talking about our youngest children. We're talking about children just coming into the education system. For some, this will be their first experience of school. And this is a time when we need to create a nurturing environment for our children and have them feel welcome and to feel um, secure in their environments. To put children, uh, to take children out of the classroom environment for 25 minutes at least and put them in front of technology and to assess them is just wrong on so many levels. I'm rejecting baseline testing because I'm a nursery teacher and because I know that children learn through play and that baseline testing will be a downward pressure into our nurseries. It will be a downward pressure on play and I actually believe it will under undermine development matters. I'm rejecting baseline testing because I think it's an absolutely vile thing to do to a four-year-old. I teach across the range of primary, so I see children from the time they enter to the time they leave primary school uh, and have you know, a pretty good idea of how they progress. And I think that testing in their very first weeks of, of formal education could colour their experience of school forever. I don't feel that children are products that need to be measured from start to finish. We want children to be children for as long as possible. We are getting rid of their innocence way too young. We're putting them under, um, under a lot of stress, a lot of pressure. We're constantly testing them, testing them far too young as well. We want children to be able to play, enjoy themselves while, and use their imagination. My children have lots of skills, lots of strengths, lots of talents and deserve to be valued for their individuality and all of that and not by some random government imposed test. I worry about the mental health of my children as well because I see children at five and six years old already being disaffected by our school system and that's sad. Children learn nothing from being assessed. Children learn when you're teaching and playing and learning with them. These assessments are for purely for setting up league tables to make judgments on teachers and schools. They're not about informing teaching. We as teachers know how to assess our children. We know how to identify what they need. These assessments aren't even scientifically sound. I think it will do what it's done to children who take SATS testing. It will make people teach to the test. It will not give them the great start that they need when they start primary school. The thing that annoys me the most is the, the six weeks. You know, I have six weeks to do this in. Well, in those six weeks, I might have a child that spends all of that time crying or hiding under a table or trying to escape the classroom and it's much more important that I make them happy and settled than to tick some boxes. And what's worse is some of the questions seem to be ridiculous. Uh, and a yes, no answer doesn't explain their thinking, it doesn't help them. So the example that's been put out is, can you say parrot without the P? Well, the answer they want you to give is arrot. But children that have been asked have said things like harrot and tarot. Well, that's a good understanding of what they're being asked to do. That is parrot without the P, but it's not the right answer. So even though they've got very good thinking and knowledge and understanding, they're demonstrating so many skills there, it's not the one you're marking, therefore they get it wrong. Well, that's not a fair reflection of that child.